Yes, the stones and the statue might be complete, but our work is just begun. That was the sentiment 20 years ago today, when then Governor Dirk Kempthorne commemorated the opening of the Anne Frank Human Rights Memorial along the Boise River. It remains the only such memorial in the United States, and it was an idea born in 1995 when a traveling exhibit came about Anne Frank came through town and so many people came to see that traveling exhibit. Well, it inspired the Idaho Human Rights Education Center to build a permanent one. And today the city honored the memorial's emerald anniversary. There were a lot of dignitaries, a few dignitaries in attendance and of course a small crowd as you can see there to again bring in the 20th anniversary of this memorial and ceremonies like this. Well, they're great, but for those who stop by on just a well normal Tuesday, the real impact can be felt by spending some time exploring the whole memorial and getting a reminder. Despite the evil that spawned the need for such memorial, there's still a need to believe most people are still good at heart in the heart of downtown Boise. This is a milestone moment for the Idaho Anne Frank Human Rights Memorial. Today we mark 20th anniversary. More importantly though, of how important the place is today. I think it's beautiful and heartbreaking at the same time. It shows both the fragility of, of, our, of our own selves, but the beauty and strength that we can have in, our, in humanity. We recognize that the memorial is not a Holocaust monument. Anne is there as a reminder, as she so captured in her diary, what happens in a community when there are members who are targeted, when they have been deemed the other, marginalized and demeaned within a community. The memorial wraps its arms around Anne, and now she feels safe to come out of hiding. That's what we need to be as a community, as a state and as a country, where we can embrace one another coming together and bring those who have been marginalized out of hiding. It's nearly an acre a garden of statues and stone. Let's read this one, it's Jimmy Carter. But what stands out are the quotes etched into them. We become not a melting pot, but a beautiful mosaic. Different people, different beliefs, different yearnings, different hopes, different dreams. So it's saying we're all different, right? One of the quotes that reminds us, those who cannot remember their history are condemned to repeat it. Are we repeating elements that we thought we had defeated? These are reminders that maybe our history is not done, that the work is not done. And that's what today is about for us, marking and celebrating 20 years, but also acknowledging there's more work to do. Our goal is that we learn from history so that it becomes our guide for our actions in the future. You guys kind of see a theme with all these? And it's about teaching those lessons. What are they all kind of talking about? To our future. Yeah, it's kind of, you're right. It does have a kind of theme about, about kindness and listening, huh? Maggie Eben brought her kids here for the first time. Because human rights and kindness are important. Remembering what happened, but remembering that kindness can change the world. And that you have to have empathy and understanding of what other people went through so you can truly understand other people. So I like to believe that the memorial for all of us in the community, it calls out our better angels. Where will we as a community, as a state, as a nation be 20 years from today? I hope we continue to learn for it, from it and grow and make progress to welcome others to our communities and, and understand our shared experiences and where it's different and where we can express kindness. I hope it grows. Boise Parks and Recreation estimates 120,000 people visit the memorial every year. That's about 2.4 million people since it opened. And it's grown since then, too. In 2015, they added the Legacy Garden. In 2018, they added the Marilyn Schuler Classroom for Human Rights. And this fall, the Wasmuth Center for Human Rights, which is what the Idaho Human Rights Education Center became, well, they plan to build a new $3 million building dedicated to human rights education. And they plan to put it right next to the memorial.